looking back at my college career in student affairs, I can't think of anybody who's made such a dramatic impact on my life as Dean Jay Corson. Um, as I started in housing as a hall director, he has been with me all through the times that I've worked up through student affairs into student activities and housing, um, working with learning communities. Um, he's been my greatest fan, my best critic, um, the person who's helped me along the way the most. And so, Dean Corson, I want to say thank you so much um, for all the effort and the hard work you've put into my life and the countless other people that you've influenced over the years. Um, I just want to say congratulations on your retirement and hope you have a great time. I wanted to congratulate you on your retirement and all these years that you've had here at SAU. I know you're going to be truly missed. No one will ever replace you in housing. You've had such an impact on my life and my career choices. I wouldn't have gone into student affairs or housing if it hadn't been for you, and I thank you for that. You've been an excellent reference and mentor for me, and I admire you so much. We love you. I met Dean Corson the day I came to SAU for a tour. He immediately began rattling off to my parents about SAU, and I was thinking to myself, who is this crazy man just talking away to my parents like they've known each other for 20 million years? And then the next time I ran into Dean Corson, he was my freshman seminar class teacher. And I absolutely adored him. He made class fun and he really seemed to love what he was doing. Here's to Jay, you will be gone but not forgotten. And if I could sing, I would sing this Jay, but I can't. So it's kind of like L is for the way you look at me. But I'm not meaning you ever did, but I'm just saying, I'm, that's, that's the melody to this song. J is for the jolly things you say. J is for joking in your own funny way. J is for joining together on homecoming day. J is for the jack oops you sometimes portray. You've been a friend when I needed one coming to my rescue, leaving your things undone. You've done great things that outlast us all. Road painting, Christmas lights, and projects with the residence halls. As you leave your office for the very last time, put us all in your heart and you'll be just fine. Uh, Dean Corson, I'm from the Upper Bound Program. We just wanna thank you for uh, your years of dedication and commitment to the Upper Bound program, our purposes and our, our goals. Uh, whether it was you recommending a peer counselor for us or giving us advice or tips on, on housing or giving us advice on a trip, uh, your input was very valuable um, to our students, uh, making their first experience here on campus a very meaningful and enriching experience. Um, on a personal note, I'd like to thank you for many, many years ago, giving me an opportunity to be an, be an RA in Green Hall. Um, that experience um, was a great one, and in many ways today, um, it still helps me to do the job that I do. So again, from the Upper Bound Program, we wish you great success and best wishes on your retirement. Hey Dad, happy retirement. Just one question for you. What are you prepared to do? And then what are you prepared to do? Seriously though, hope you have a great night. Can't wait to see you this summer. Love you. Hello, Dean and congratulations on your retirement. Wow, I can't believe you actually did it. It's been a long time coming and from the former RAs, I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your inspiration, uh, for your toughness at times, but most importantly for the love that you've shown us. Just wanted you to know that we love you we expect your book to come out very, very soon. I'll be one of the first persons in line to purchase it. And um, just so you know, I still believe. God bless you. Have a safe journey this next part of your life. I'm so excited to be part of this tribute to Jay Gorson. When I think of Dean, I think of all the great things that he's done for Southern Arkansas University. And I think of the legacy that he's left over these many years that he's been in charge. I think of this banquet. I think of the establishment of the Residence Hall Association and the celebration of lights. And there are so many wonderful, great things that he's done. But what I want to say is more personal. I just want to talk about the inspiration that he's had on my life and, and just how he's taught me to think outside of the box. He's so visionary and committed to what he believes in. And that is so inspiring. And those are qualities that will make you great in anything. 
there's been so many times that I've worked with him, and he said, why not? Why can't we do this? And then he makes it happen. It's such a wonderful thing, and I'm so happy for you, Dean Corson. You deserve all the great things in life, and don't look at this as closing a chapter. Look at it as starting a new adventure. Jason and I love you. Mwah. Jay Corson, I can remember about, uh, it's probably been about fall of 1995, September-ish, and uh, I came on campus for an interview. And the person that was my designated escort for the day was Jay Corson. And during the course of that day, there was a, there was a, it was an all-day interview. It started about 8.30 that morning, ended about 3.30 that afternoon. And Jay was my, was my escort. Well, throughout the course of that day, Jay told me, I, I know it was at least twice, well, you know, it's, I've been here all these years, and it's looking like it's time for me to retire now, so I guess I'll be retiring in the next year or two and we, I'm going to leave it to you youngsters. Well, here it is 18 years later and retirement is finally happening. Congratulations, man. I'm very proud of you and I, I wish you happy uh, uh, new life. I know this is about to be a wonderful time for you and, and your wife and you guys are about to have a chance to just really be young all over again. So many blessings, many great wishes and just take this time to, to enjoy this wonderful and rich career that you've blessed us all with. Hey, when I started at SIU, uh, when I worked for Wendy was probably when I got to know you the best. You taught me a lot about how SAU operates. It's not a job that's eight to five. There's a lot of hours put in after five. You taught me patience. Maybe not patience in the way most people think of patience, but patience to do a job right, even if it meant doing it over and over. You're a man with a vision, and I know your vision for the future will be as great as your vision was for SAU. You will be missed. Good luck in your retirement. Jay, you're really going to be missed here on campus. Everyone has been talking about how much you're going to be missed. Uh, but I'm not going to miss taking my anxiety pills. Uh, you were popping in my office, calling my phones all the time, looking for me. If you had a banquet that night, or if we were planning some event and needed some design uh, last minute, of course. Oh my gosh, look. It's just, what is going on? Okay, I can't even get through a video without you calling me and, ah, okay, gotta go. I worked for Dean Corson as an RA and a hall director at SAU from 2003 until 2007. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Dean at SAU. My favorite memories include um, working on the Leadership Recognition and Awards Banquet every year, picking the perfect flowers and perfect desserts, and wrapping columns until midnight and painting the farm road during homecoming. Um, there's no other administrator like Dean that would do that um, and put his heart into everything that we did so much. Um, so I completely admire you and you totally molded my heart. And every time I see twinkle lights or hear a jingle bell ring, I will think of you. Happy retirement. So let me start by uh, informing everybody. Dean Corson has fired me, um, but I do want to say thank you to him for making me the professional person that I am today. Um, because without him and his rules and policies, um, I wouldn't have come so far. So um, I really hope you enjoy your retirement. I started working for Dean Corson in the fall of 2008 as an RA and as a student worker in the University Housing Office. Working with Dean on so many projects and presentations, I learned that he's very creative. When he first gave me ideas, I would be like, I'm not really sure what he's wanting, but I'll just do something. But once we finally got on the same page, Everything that he came up with was just out of the box and amazing. I also owe my relationship with my boyfriend um, to Dean. About four years ago, uh, Blake went to Dean and asked for relationship advice, and it's been happily ever after since then. So Dean, even though we're both gonna be gone, I hope to stay in touch, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Dean, when I first met you, uh, it was to apply for a position, which technically wasn't the RD position, but uh, you kinda saw something in me. Uh, loved our interview. Uh, we just walked around everywhere and you made me do all the physical work because you couldn't reach certain things. Uh, I really do appreciate you taking a chance on me. Uh, a baseball coach, they turned out to be a housing guy. Uh, without, without it knowing, just because your creativity, uh, your leadership, uh, and all the conferences you took me to uh, made me the man I am today. Uh, so I appreciate it. Enjoy your retirement and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Hey Daddy Dean, it's K Pip. I just want to congratulate you on your retirement, just to say I'm really excited for you and you really deserve this. 
I just want to tell you that you are an amazing leader and I learned so much from you. I really liked all of our RA workshops, especially the late night playbooks, which reminds me of a really funny memory. Whenever Elizabeth and I got into this intense playbook fight and were tackling each other, it was hilarious. You truly made being a member of the housing team so rewarding. You were not only our boss, but you were our friend that we could walk the track with late at night and have heart to hearts about everything that was going on in our lives. Thank you for always being there for all of us and treating each of us like we were your own children, which you did not hesitate to discipline whenever we got out of line. You have such a passion and energy for your career, and I love that. I hope that one day I can have that passion for my career. You have made such an impact to SAU, and you've made such an impact in all of our lives. And I know that everyone's going to miss you, and the next person's going to have some really big shoes to fill. I graduated from SAU in 1989. I really didn't know anyone in Magnolia and decided to live on campus in Talbot Hall. Little did I know then that when I graduated four years later, how my life would be influenced by the SAU Residence Hall program and by the RHA community and especially by Dean J. Corson. In the nearly 25 years since I've left SAU, many of the things that Jay passed on to you and to me have been incorporated into my personal and into my business life. The Polar Express, the Untouchables, and the importance of community still resonate every single day in both my personal life, my family life, and my business life. I've met many evangelists over the years, um, and I have traveled across um, the U.S. and across the world visiting colleges and universities much like Southern Arkansas University. You, me, we've all had a unique experience of being blessed by working and learning from a true evangelist for community, for, for residence halls, for student life, and ultimately for student success. Um, and I think we'll I'll be grateful for the mentorship and the leadership that Dean J. Corson has provided over the many years that he's worked with students. Thank you, Dean, for all that you've done for Southern Arkansas University, but also thank you for all that you've done by welcoming each of those students who you have welcomed into your life and have influenced long after they've left Southern Arkansas University. Oh, hey Jay, give me a minute now. I just got off the ride across campus from Fincher and that golf cart, so kind of got myself, get myself back together. But I just wanted to say, you know, we've worked together for a long time. I came back to SAU in 1980, and you came in 1981. And I've seen so many changes that you've implemented in housing. It's very obvious that you wanted the housing experience to be the best that it could be for SAU students. And I really admire you for that. And all the training that you gave all of your housing workers. Yeah, I see heads nodding all around the room from all those hours of training. But you know that was really important because you gave those students skills that could help them handle the, anything that came up in housing but it was also very helpful for them in life after SAU. And I really appreciate you for that. Now, I know you'll remember me in Department Heads as the chocoholic compulsive note taker. But I remember you as the person that just cracked us up with all those comments you'd make. And you'd have Dr. Allen looking at you over the top of her glasses. I'll also remember you every time Wes and I make pepper jelly. And just as soon as this video is over, this jar should be delivered to your table. So enjoy. Thank you for all the things you've done for SAU. Best wishes to you in your retirement, and God bless you. Hey Dean, happy retirement. I was thinking back of all the stories or, or what I could talk about or say about things that have gone on over the years, and I, I just had to write them down. I couldn't remember them all in one setting. Um, Dean Corson, I can't believe you are retiring. When I first came to work at SAU, we were thrown together as co-advisors for the Student Foundation, now called the President's Ambassadors. 
I did not know how to take you at first. You laughed when I said we had to survey students to see who was wearing a seatbelt for a seatbelt grant. You thought it was crazy to ask the students to creep around with clipboards to see who was wearing their seatbelts. Well, it was crazy, of course, but I was too green to know it at the time. Somehow we turned that into close colleagues and worked on several projects. You are my work husband. Once I called the office and um, your staff apparently told you that it was Diana, your wife, on the phone, but luckily you didn't say anything inappropriate, so we've been calling you my work husband ever since then. Uh, Diana is going to be glad to have you to herself. Uh, you taught me much. I had no idea a person could be just J, uh, that J wasn't short for uh, J-A-Y, and there's no period. It's not short for anything. You're just J, but you always be Dean Corson to me, the housing man. How many PowerPoints do we wrap up at midnight before preview day? How many uh, conferences and trips to Kinko's? Most students now don't even know what Kinko's is. Um, how many schedules have we adjusted to make sure the RA class works out for the student's schedule? How many food bank, food bank volunteer hours? How many preview days, BAMs, department head meetings, university committees, search committees have there been? Not to mention all the ones you did before I even started in 1993. You've done a lot of service to the university. Um, I did hear you were taken out uh, by a bed in a bed race once, so I hope you recovered well from that. I also have to make a conscious decision not to sit by you at meetings because I get in trouble for laughing. Um, you're always a lot of fun in meetings. I don't know who I'm going to sit by that's going to kind of go, what? When someone says a crazy idea or not too good of an idea, or who I can talk to that's going to understand um, you might be dealing with a whack job. Um, I've heard that term from you a few times. But, you know, the part that I'm going to miss the most is your encouragement to students. You have a real knack for finding gifts in students and finding where their gifts lie, especially in leadership qualities. I've seen you develop leaders and have them blossom over the years, and I think that's what's going to be missed most about you here on our campus. So have a great retirement. Come see us, and remember we all love you. Dean, I just wanted to take this chance to say thank you for all the lessons that you taught me, teaching me that hard work, even till all hours of the night, really does pay off, and that helping others and going out of your way to help others is a must. And last but not least, to believe in myself. You're going to be a hard act to follow. I wish you great fun and great luck in your retirement, and keep inspiring people to be the best they can be. It was the day that I interviewed for my job and you were on my interview committee and after the interview was over when I went to leave you caught up with me and you said you know you're gonna love this job here and I hadn't been hired but you said it's great working with college students because they keep you young and I guess you knew something I didn't because I was hired and been here for a long time now and you're right it does keep you young so stay young. You know Jay you're known by a lot of things. To me, it'd be uh, Dino, uh, Daddy Dean, by, by some of those. I remember it like it was yesterday, uh, back in 2005, uh, April the 6th, was when I had my housing interview for RA. And uh, I come out of my interview and there's this old guy that grabs me and, and takes me up and, and wants to just talk, wants to know a little bit about me. And I remember like that was yesterday. Uh, from then on, uh, it's like, I guess we were two peas in a pod, I guess. Whatever you said, we went along with, and I went along with. Um, but I'll never forget uh, that moment uh, because it's, it's just such a life-changing moment for me. Uh, finding out that I made RA after that, and, and the things that have come from that, uh, I owe you so many things, man. Uh, words really can't express how much you mean to me. So uh, I'm proud for you. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you are getting to take this chapter of your life and and open a new one. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that I've been a part of what I've been a part of. I wish you the very best. Uh, I hope and pray that uh, we continue to go throughout this as uh, great friends um, and then even more, uh, write those many more memories that we do have coming up. So good luck in your retirement. Uh, we'll miss you. Uh, you'll never be replaced uh, at all. So all the, the great times uh, and great memories. So love you, man. I heard that you were retiring now. How's that going to affect me? Well, I thought about it. Now, who else am I going to get up out of my bed in the darkness of night to meet? Where? At the hospital.
Remember those days? We spent a many and many at the hospital trying to help a student. Then I thought, how else am I going to miss Jay? Well, Jay is one of those who plans at the last minute and it works. Who else is going to come into the office or call me and say, I need some Discover tokens or any Myers-Briggs and I need them for my class in about 30 minutes. Nobody but you, Jay. You have the ability to always land on your feet and that's a good thing. I'm going to miss you. You're, you're one of those people who's very creative, always thinking outside the box. That's you and we're going to miss that. I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope you and your wife travel and do the things that you want to do. And every now and then, when you think of us at the department head meeting, then you know you made the right decision to retire. Happy, happy retirement. Bye-bye. Hey, Daddy Dean, it's Elis. I just want to wish you a happy retirement, even though I still think you're way too young to be retiring. You made such a lasting impression on the SA community and definitely on my life. I can't thank you enough for giving me the opportunity to become an RA. You've taught me so many life skills that I still use today. You've taught me to become a good mediator, to time manage, and handle many awkward situations. Remember that one time one of my residents started a bonfire in the middle of his room to burn his personal documents? Or that one time my residents in East were throwing homemade bombs out the windows? We've had so many crazy times together, and I cherish every single one of them. Now, since you're going to have so much free time on your hand, it's time to take some road trips up north to see your favorite RA alums. Me, Cape, and Corey, of course. Long in a close, as you do every RA workshop. Now, Dean, as you lay there in your little twin-sized bed, I want you to think about all the lives you've impacted and made a difference in because you believed in us. I'm forever grateful. Thank you for taking me in as your own little child. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you soon. Happy retirement. Dear Jay, I guess we go a long ways back. Um, I guess my first encounters with you was as a student. I came here um, yesterday. That was actually 1990. Um, and was a student foundation that's, that's for you younger people, the equivalent to President's Ambassadors these days. Jay and Sarah Jennings were actually my advisors, so I got to be with Jay during that time period and had a great time and got to know him as, as Dean and Dean Corson and then I came back, I left the school and went away for a little bit and came back in 99 to work and got to start working with Jay again on a close basis and we've had many, many fun events and late evenings or I guess mornings we should say. Um, Sarah and I talked and joked about that, that people may think, what in the world are you doing with Dean Corson at those time in the morning? But, you know, lots of projects. And one of my fondest, I guess, is um, our BAM meeting where we stayed in the cafeteria till about, I think about 2.15 in the morning where we hashed out and developed BAM and decided that we were going to do that. And that was quite the, quite the event, quite the meeting, and looks what's come from it. We've had a great time working at BAM, and I, I really can't imagine not being, you not being at BAM with us. What are we going to do without the housing man? It's um, every year the parents just love you and it's great and fabulous and I'm not going to cry because it, it's really in our RC trips and all the wonderful things we've done together. It's just been a great, we've had a great time together. I love you and we're going to miss you terribly and I hate to see you go. Have a great retirement. Bye Jay. I'm not real sure what my favorite memory is, um, whether it's uh, the hugs, that, that big laugh or um, the what is the issue uh, going through RA playbooks two o'clock in the morning um, but probably I think the more I think about it that my favorite memory um, will be this little bell here that I uh, have along with probably at least three maybe even four others and and the the, the ability to relate everything back to believing in what you stand for and, and what really is important in life um, and doing the best that you can in everything you do. Um, I love you brother. I wish you the best. Um, hope to see you soon. Jay, I couldn't decide what to do so I, I did this. I hope it doesn't sound too stupid. But uh, uh, Jay, Jay is for Jay, not J-A-Y just the letter J. How many times did I say that on the phone? 
C is for the care and concern that you give to every student that comes to you for help and advice, to give them direction and belief in themselves for their future. O is for ornery, and you know what that means and you know that you are. U is for you, who has put in so many more hours than just the eight to five, Monday through Friday. You have been a leader, a mentor, and a teacher. R is for right, because it is not right unless it is your way right. S is for service, the 30 plus years that you've given this university from serving on about every committee there ever was to bring in new traditions that this university can be proud of. Oh, I started to put ornery again, but I did find a couple of more words. Opinionated, outspoken, knowing what you want to do to help students to achieve. N is for never. There will never be another dean that has raised over 800 resident assistants and has been a great boss and a greater friend. Best wishes on a well-deserved retirement. So Dean, or, or Dean, yeah. one of our uh, favorite, I guess, moments that we had as working together with you was uh, for the Tiki Hut housing fair. Oh yeah, we um, decided on a, one of Dean's whims yeah. that, that he's famous for to go down somewhere around Macedonia, um, not sure where, it's probably best we don't say. And actually and cut bamboo. We cut bamboo and made a, a tiki hut. Why, I'm not real sure, but it, it, was, it was a good idea at the time. Um, at three o'clock in the morning, the night before, it didn't seem that a good idea, but. We're still working on it. Um, <laughs> there, there's photos circling around. We're not sure Hopefully where they're, they're at. lost. Maybe they're gone. Uh, Dean, you remember the, the grass skirts. skirts, grass hula skirts? We were dancing around in, that, that was always We were fun. a little loopy then. Yeah, three o'clock in the morning, no sleep. It's yeah. fun. Um, all the man, countless hours before homecoming. Yeah. Uh, the week of homecoming. Celebration of lights. Celebration of lights, going and cutting down all the trees. Another trees. Um, putting down the small trees. Putting out the hundreds. Yes. Of small green trees. Um, Making it look the way you wanted to. And then doing it again. Tough. And then doing it again. Um, yes. So that, that's lovely. Uh, and then the conferences. Hold the conferences. The posse. We are the posse. For those of you who don't know, uh, at our housing conferences, we're known as Jay and the Posse, or Jay and the Boys, or... Many other things that we probably yeah, don't want to say. Probably not. <laughs> um, but man, you, you've taught us a lot. Uh, we've, we've had the opportunity to work with you for five years now. Uh, some great, um, some were, were stressful and, and trying. But overall, man, it's been a, a life-changing experience. Uh, we owe so much to you, um, not only as, as your uh, co-workers, uh, but definitely uh, as your friend more than all. Um, it's going to be different. It's, it's going to be strange without you when somebody's been there for so long. That's all I've known. That's all, I uh, know. that's all you've known. And uh, it's going to be different as we, we come on and, and walk in the door and yeah. don't see Dean back Dean. there, <laughs> banging on, on his computer. computer. Um, Victor! <laughs> Victor, come help me! <laughs> from, from across the office, of course. Yeah, we, we don't know what's <laughs> going on. So it has to be a computer thing again. Yeah. So, uh, but we wish you the best of luck. Uh, we'll we know you. you're, you're not going to be too far. Um, if we ever need something, I, we'll yell real loud Who down the, <laughs> down the road about a mile. And, but don't be a stranger. Don't be one of those people who never comes back. Um, we always want to hear your stories. We hope we have something to tell you. Um, know that, that we're always going to be there uh, for you no matter what. The other stories we'll uh, wait for later. Yeah. <laughs> other stories for later. Love you, man. Jay, you can only imagine how important this is for me to get in front of a video camera, but here goes. Mrs. A, Dr. A, how many times we have heard those affectionate words when you've called the office and said, it's an emergency, I have to talk to Dr. Allen right now. Our relationship began 22 years ago when we both worked for Dr. Hafer and we, and we were across from each other in the Bruce Center. We've had our trying times and we've had a lot of great times, 
But I want to take this time to tell you all the reasons why we love you so much. For having the courage to try new ideas and programs. For always having new and really neat themes before workshop and most of them involving changing the world. For always finding the right quote for every occasion and stating it with so much meaning. For defending your program and students to me when you secretly wanted to wring their necks. For having faith and vision that we can pull off a huge event and do it very well and always at the last minute. For your wonderful compilation of playbook cases with the supposed hypothetical cases that we all knew were real. For developing lifetime relations with our students and a love for SAU. For having a passion for housing and then being on board with constantly wanting to improve it. For working hard on committees with other student affairs staff while we all knew that whether you were chair or not, you would have to be in charge. For allowing us to borrow Diana for teaching colors and for the newest child development practices. For sharing your arthritis doctor in Little Rock with me, Dr. Brewer, with whom you got me into without a referral. For allowing me to count on you when I needed you to pull together some students and get some off the wall thing done at odd hours and uh, weekends. For starting wonderful, never ending traditions that the university has become so proud of. For allowing me to referee you when you and other staff members are strongly disagreeing until 2 a.m. in the morning after a late night feeding frenzy. For a new approach to a project and walking away from it the best of friends and great colleagues. For remembering everyone's birthday. For always taking up for my children, even when they don't deserve it. For solving the baggy pants case. For being the housing man in BAM, with always the highest evaluations from everyone. For always taking special interest in our students. Thank you for keeping us young and for helping us to never forget to always believe. You will not be forgotten. Thank you. Hey Dad, I've thought a lot about what am I going to say to you right now and the only thing that comes to mind is that you name me after Michael Corleone from The Godfather. The guy who never wanted to be a part of the family business and now here you are retiring as I begin my career in residence life and housing. I bet you never thought that would be the family business in any way. And even though that I've never worked for you, you've taught me a lot about it and it's probably prepared me more than anybody else ever has. Especially the notion of belief. And everyone in the room knows exactly what I'm talking about. And so as you venture into retirement, I'm going to ask that you continue to listen to make sure that that bell is ringing. And remember that if they don't have a bell, if they don't get to ring with us. Happy retirement. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me, as it does for all who truly believe.